Today we are checking out the Native American drone flutes by La Rosa Flutes from Peru in bamboo in A minor pentatonic and B minor pentatonic. Hi, this is Jerry Walsh from Ditch Project and today we're going to be demoing the B minor pentatonic La Rosa Native American flute. Uh, these flutes are bamboo. They come from Peru. They are played oftentimes by Tito La Rosa and made by his son Omar La Rosa. Really beautiful epic flutes. Um, they're in this double barrel shotgun style. And this was a collaborative idea between Ditch Project and the La Rosa family to create the flutes like this. So you won't find these La Rosa flutes anywhere else to my knowledge. And what's really wonderful about these flutes is they are very easy to play. So on this side here, you have a drone. So when you blow into the left side, uh, there's no playing or anything. It just creates a drone sound. You know, regardless of how hard you blow or anything, it's always going to stay in that same key. And then on the right side, you have the holes, which you put your fingers on, covering to start, and then you release uh, sequentially. One, two, three, four, five. And you always do it in that order to stay in synchronization with the scale. Uh, and it's very easy to play. A lot of people hear me play this or see other people playing this and think, wow, this is a very complicated instrument to sound play. How do you do it? How does it sound so beautiful? Uh, and I always find it kind of funny and amusing because it's actually very easy to play. It's an intuitive instrument. Anyone can do it. Um, it's very simple, keeping your fingers as such. And you can start with just the right side and I'll play just the right side first and then I'll add in the drone side afterwards, which will create a really full and rich sound uh, which doubles up the energy of the flute and also creates a whole new energy. So it kind of feels like you're playing at a moment two different instruments. But just to start, and I'm just going to go up and down the scale a couple times, and then I'll go into something rhythmic, and then I'll bring in the drone sound. So to show just a couple simple things I was doing there and make it sound a little more uh, unique and fun, uh, doing as I'm playing uh, the bottom hole, for instance, I'm just lifting my finger on and off the hole and it creates that kind of fluttering sound, right? Like this. And you can do that obviously with each hole as you go up. really simple technique. And then the other thing that I'm doing is rolling my tongue going, which is like obstructing the air, making it vibrate and creating that kind of trill sound. So without that, right, then adding it, then you can add in the finger fluttering. So you like flooding, fluttering compounded. Um, so just some really simple things that you can do with it. And it's a really epic flute. It sounds phenomenal with the air didge. Uh, that's what got me into uh, this flute was the fact that the air didge also plays in a similar key. So you could play them together and together it's a really epic and very powerful combination. 
Um, and it's a great flute because it's just a small, it's compact, it's bamboo, so it's very lightweight. Uh, we recommend keeping it a little bit oiled. Almond oil or even olive oil or coconut oil can work just so when you're in very dry environments, uh, it won't crack. And yeah, this one is really beautiful. It's in B. This one, slightly bigger, is in A. Uh, so you can see it's about, I don't know, two inches or so bigger. And it sounds a little bit different, but not dramatically so. And I like to do like a little rhythm that's kind of just like just has that pulse. It's kind of like a has some dynamics in there um, and that in combination with moving the fingers up and down the scale, a little bit of the trills, a little bit of the finger flutters mixed together, going back and forth between the combination of the drone with the scale flute and then also just flipping back to just the one. Uh, individual flute at a time just creates a lot of different texture uh, and atmosphere from the sound and it's a beautiful tool for meditation for sound healing for accompanying other instruments it adds a lot of atmosphere um, these are some of the better double flutes that I've played I think that they just sound exactly how they should oftentimes uh, you don't always find the ideal flute but uh, La Rosa flutes are in my experience and opinion the best flutes out there they're made with like a deep connection of consciousness and prayer that goes into them so we are really happy to be working with them and supporting them and like i said it's an intuitive instrument it doesn't require that you have a base knowledge in music or that you understand rhythm or understand scales or anything like that uh, it's something that you can just blow into and just move and play right away and you know even um, if you were to play not sequentially up and down, you kind of can do it. It sounds a little funky, but there's some things that sort of work, but just to demonstrate what that sounds like. If you've ever played an ocarina, uh, that's what that really reminds me of and I think for sound healing and meditation purposes You actually can use it that way and I'm all for people getting creative with instruments and not boxing themselves into one thing or another so um, You can actually play a little bit outside of the scale it has kind of a cool and funky sound to it a few things with it don't totally work, but uh, nonetheless you could be creative with it and yeah, these are great flutes this one is an a and Check them out on the ditch project website and store if you're interested in more of the flutes that we sell, check out the playlist here. <laughs>